Hello. Uh, what is your name? I'm Roger Lamb from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, welcome uh, to this time. And um, I wanted to ask you what is uh, one word that usually comes into your mind when you think about uh, Christ? That's a really good question. Actually, two come into mind grace and truth. And uh, think about Jesus coming to the earth full of grace and truth. And how he's the perfect combination of both and uh, fulfills our life in every way. Amen. So, what was your main motivation to follow him in this life? Well, my, <clears throat> my mother just passed two months ago. And uh, my memories of her reading the Bible to me in the morning and then taking me to serve uh, widows and orphans and study the Bible with people. And she would always have people into our home. My mother and father were very hospitable and uh, really, I think, taught me a respect for God and a respect for the Bible. And uh, I knew I wanted to uh, serve God in some way. Uh, and I wanted to really make a difference in the world. Amen. And, uh, and uh, God is, you know, really the way to do that. And uh, so I think that really drew me to learn what it meant to be a disciple. So what helped you persevere all these years? Um, well, the scriptures, number one, um, so many scriptures helped us. Um, We've been through a lot of things. We've, uh, my son had cancer and was healed. Uh, then my wife got cancer and was healed. Our daughter was struggled spiritually for 12 years and was restored a year and a half ago. And uh, a lot of other things that have happened. I've just seen the wisdom of God in the scriptures and then the Holy Spirit, I think, dwelling in us if we listen to it. Yeah. will lead us to the right way. But following Jesus, you know, uh, what was shared last night in Colossians yeah. about really the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings mm -hmm. and uh, letting Jesus work in us to perfect us and make us more into his image. Thank you very um, much. That to me is really, it gives you a perspective on suffering and a meaning for it. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, when you are, for example, discipling your neighbor into fulfilling Christ's commandments, how, how do you do that? Uh, a non-Christian or a Christian? Either? Your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think uh, reaching out to people and Jesus set the example of how to love people. I think of the woman at the well often. Mm -hmm. um, he just cared about her and reached out to her and uh, showed interest and then he, and then he challenged her thinking mm -hmm. and uh, drew her to the living water. And really everybody needs God. Mm -hmm. Some people know they need it, most don't. Mm -hmm. But they know they need something, mm -hmm. and I think uh, when they know you really care about them, then they'll be open with what their pains are, mm -hmm. and then they they'll let you show them how the God will fill their their life. So we are now in 2011. Uh, where you will be in 100 years from now? 100 years from now. Uh, dancing with the angels and celebrating the permanent retirement <laughs> eternity thank you very much roger amen thank you